poor man to do such hideous actions of, that has no sensitivity to people that can't defend themselves. The people in the ghetto can't defend themselves against, against a society that they give taxes to and they take the tax money and you're going to take them to court to go into what? To argue over the rules and regulation that they have made, you'll never win. If the American Indians can't get what is rightfully theirs, that you don't need no law to stand up and say what is right and what's wrong, then ain't none of y'all getting anything. Because the American Indians, that's a historical truth. This land was theirs. And therefore, what law could you put into to, to place other than a wicked law to not allow these people to have? And like the Indians said, it was never ours. The land was you. Land is good for everybody. They were willing to, to, to use it for everybody. They, they never possessed the land. They were willing, to, you know, it's enough land. What he said, not nah, now. Nah, y'all got to go on the reservation. And every time they found something that was more suitable or more valuable for them, they moved them off the reservation. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the point is, they can't get no justice. So neither will you. So in their, in, in their spoiling of robbing the poor innocent man because he's poor, Ain't nobody going to sit up and offend him. So he sees the misery that is set in place by those that have the power. Therefore, what righteousness could he receive other than to, to bend his head and feel sorry for himself? But Yahweh God sends a comforter. And he says in Isaiah chapter 35, no, Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 7. He says, comfort, he's comforting you. You know, you know what I'm saying? And this is what we should say to each other constantly. Because this is our comfort. What does he say? Um, chapter, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10. Say ye to the right that it shall be well with them, but they shall eat the fruit of their, of their doing. Yeah, see, your house said, you know, look, look, it's going to be all right with y'all. Let's relax. You're going to eat the fruit of your doing. Say ye to the righteous, those that are righteous, those that are keeping the commandments of your house. He said, encourage them. Encur encourage it. Because, as it says here, and we, we know that the light of the wicked is going to be taken out. So what? Light do we have? Let, let's go. Let's go back to Proverbs. Proverbs 6. See, you know, hey. You know, when you see what things around you, then you have to realize this is what you must do. Uh, Proverbs 6 verse 23 says what? For the commandment is a lamp and the law is life. And the Torah is life. So the point is that's your life. Because we know the wicked light's going out. We know they light going. And when it go out, let's go to Amos. And let me show you what's going to happen. You understand? Amos chapter 8 verse 11. What it says here. Verse 8 verse 11. To um. To. To. Uh, to, to 12. Verse Amos 8. Yeah. 11 Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor thirst for water, but hearing the words of Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. That's right, see. And in that day shall the fair virgin and young man faint for thirst. They that swear by the sins anyway to remove those things from us. Yahweh God has said 
that it's going to be a famine in the land. And that famine is going to be a famine that is so terrible. And therefore, that's why he says, seek him while he may be found. And may Yahweh bless us and keep us and strengthen us because this is a day in our life that Yahweh God will nourish us if we would do the right thing. And the right thing is that you must seek your God. You must seek Him. And the only way you seek Him, because see, it says in Isaiah, in Isaiah 55, Isaiah 55, verse 6, it says, Seek ye Yahweh while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. You know, don't wait until it's too late. That's why, you know, and Jeremiah 29, Jeremiah 29 says here, 29, 13 says, and, and confirms it. And, go ahead. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. See, he said that. And where will you find him at? Isaiah 33. Isaiah 33. He's going to tell you where you're going to find him. Because they said that they ain't going to be able to see the word. Isaiah 34. See? Isaiah 34. Verse 616. Seek ye out of the book of your house. See, this book is your house. He says, Seek ye out of the book of your house. Go ahead. And be, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. See, that's why he says, you know, and what are we doing as we sort these things in this book? Let's go to Deuteronomy. And this is what we do. We, 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 when we look at it, we come into harmony and we love our God because He is bringing us back home. And we should love Him because by Him bringing us back home, we can't lose. As it says, Deuteronomy chapter 30 and it shall come to pass when all these things will come upon us. Why? Because we have returned and we have sought him. He has shown us in the book the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee and thou shalt call them to mind among all nations whether Yahweh thy God has driven thee. And thou shalt return unto Yahweh thy God and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul that then Yahweh thy God will turn thy captivity and, and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all nations whether Yahweh thy God has scattered thee. There's no other way. You know, you 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 all right. <laughs> you understand? You all right. Yahweh, you're in the name of your God. You're in the name of your God. And you, you have the right to exercise yourself in that name. Why in righteousness... That's why it says in, in Psalm 134, verse 8, Our help is in the name of Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. You, you got it. There ain't no more to get. That's it. You know, stay in, stay in righteousness, keep the commandments. Don't worry about what's happening in the world, in America, and all that stuff. You're wasting your time. These things, these days will surely come. There's no question about it. They will come. And may Yahweh bless each and every one of us. May we rest comfortably in, in the Ruach. That's why our congregation is called Yah in me. That's right. And therefore Yah in us as a group, but Yah in me as an individual. And this is how we travel. And may Yahweh bless each and every one of us. May the Spirit of our God rest comfortably with us. Allah, 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 Allah,